saw the body where my Lord and my Savior had laid and the grave clothes were laying right there in place. And I'm glad to say that my Lord and your Savior had got up just like he said he did. But you know what? Not only did he get up, but he's alive right now today. Seated at the right hand of the Father making intercessions for you and for me. And that's good news this morning because so go tell my disciple, go tell my brethren that I said I'm going before them in Galilee. Go Go down there and tell them that they there, they can see me. Just tell them to go down there and meet me. Just tell them I'll be there. And I like when it said, when it said, go tell Peter and my disciples. Because Peter had declared, I'll never deny who you are. I'll never uh, denounce you, but I'll fight for you. I'll die for you. Be careful who tell folk who tell you what they'll do. You don't know what you'll do until you get under pressure. But Jesus knew Peter meant it from his heart. Jesus knew that Peter was sincere see him. <clears throat> And Jesus knew that he had to let Peter know, Peter, I forgive you. Peter, I receive you just as you are. So they went and told those disciples. And when they came there, the body was already gone. But you know what? My Lord and my Savior, uh, he stayed here for some 50 days down here on the earth. But there's still another sign that he gave us. That he not only is alive and well and sitting at the right hand of the Father, but he's coming back for you and coming back for me. But in order for me to go back with him, I got to be ready when he come back. What's well, pastor, how can I be ready? You got to confess your sin and forsake your way and receive him as Lord and as Savior. I told them in the early church, I was blessed this week with the reminder again as to how the Lord left a sign that he is coming back. You remember he told us when we saw the rainbow in the sky and every time I see a rainbow, I'm reminded that he won't destroy destroy the world by fire by water next time but it will be destroyed by fire but when I read uh, just the other day how Jesus left us another sign that I'm not finished yet I'm sitting at the right hand of the father I'm in, gro in glory right now at my rightful place but I'm coming back again because the text said that when they went inside the grave and especially in John chapter 20 said they went inside of the grave and when they looked there they saw the grave clothes laying right there intact but there was another sign that Jesus left there there was a napkin that had covered his face that had they had put on his face when they laid him in the tomb the napkin was folded up right neat and proper in, in the tomb and, and Jewish custom was and the Hebrew custom was that the servant knew that anytime the master are set at the table and if the servant when he looked and after the master had finished the meal if the if the towel and the napkin that, that he had finished the meal after he wiped his mouth and wiped his beard, if it was baller, that means he was finished and that you can come and clear the table. But this time, the napkin wasn't baller, it was folded up, which tell me the master won't fool and he's coming back again for me and for you. And that's good news, somebody, because I heard Paul say, Behold, when he said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep but we shall be chained in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump when the trump shall sound and the dead in Christ shall be raised and those that are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet him in the mid air I wonder do I have any mid air folk here today do I have any mid air folk here today with a made up mind I'm gonna live right I'm gonna live holy I'm gonna live righteous because I wanna go back with him when he come he's coming back he's coming for me he's coming for you will you be ready